my night and me. <laughs> My best friend's cat Together with my dad Henry of Orange We defeat all the bad guys In our own epic way With the number one team Jimmy, Cat and Henry Enjoying your mutton wraps? I switched up the recipe a bit from last time Oh, these are terrific What did you do different? I added more mutton Lovely day for a picnic Don't mind us Just, uh, passing through <laughs> What happened? Nothing too terrible. We were headed to the archery range when the Cyclops ambushed us, attacked us, and stole all of our armor. No, oh, must be on our way. The Cyclops is threatening to steal King Cammy's armor. King Cammy's armor? The kingdom will not stand for this. It also won't stand for you guys not wearing pants. My knight and me. Outlandish. That's the fifth time in three days the Cyclops has attacked our knight. Yep. The beast is mad for shiny armor. He must be stopped! Decidedly, but with the kingdom's top knights laid up in the infirmary. Excellent. <laughs> oh, uh, and uh, with the kingdom's tippy-tip top knight still healthy, the castle has um, some defense. Don't worry, we won't let him get the suit of gold. I'm a princess. I leave it to you, brave knights, to deal with. <laughs> I'll deal with a giant myself. Uh, Henry? Now, I'm no expert in knighting, but maybe you can temporarily promote squires to be knights and shore up the castle's defenses. Epic idea, cat! <laughs> <laughs> While I do like the princess's idea, maybe we don't use the we squires. <laughs> we squire. I'm not so we. I could totally reach that apple if I wanted to. And maybe I don't really want to. All right, time for trial number 226 on my grow potion. Here's hoping you don't blow up like numbers 215 to 225. My potion is perfected! Time to sell it! <sighs> well, here's the big berries. <laughs> For kingdom's sake! Oh, huh? uh, pi squared over six. <laughs> I'll just be a wee squire for the rest of my life. Uh, well, being small forever won't be that bad. I mean, I always get into jousting tournaments at kids' prices. And being smaller will make my suit of armor cheaper. Whoa! Well, look at me! Good thing I'm not afraid of heights. Now, for those warmer summer months, your umbrella can be converted into a lighter, cooler length. Look, a giant hand. Jimmy, what happened to you? Oops, <laughs> sorry, cat. Forgot to mention I'm a giant now. Yeah, I noticed. So, have you been working out or something? Better. I drink Perlin's Grow Potion. Awesome. How long does it last? I don't know. You mean you might never go back to being normal size? Cat, I'll be allowed to fight the Cyclops now. And I'm big enough to do all the things I've always dreamt of doing! Seriously? You don't think being ginormous for the rest of your life might cause a few problems? Like what? Uh, school? And what about archery exams? Or riding a horse? Okay, okay. Yeah, but I see your point. Let's go make sure Perlin has an antidote, okay? The Cyclops must be attacking. I'm finally gonna get to fight him. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go anywhere yet. Just let me talk to Perlin first. Stay. Sit. <laughs>
That is, if you can lift them. Oh, thank Kingdom! This is wonderful news! Why? I thought I'd misplaced the remaining potion, but if Jimmy drank it, I'm not losing my mind after all. <laughs> when does it wear off? It's not going to wear off during the battle, is it? The Cyclops could crush him. Oh, no, 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 no. My goodness, no. You have nothing to worry about. You can rest assured and know that the potion will never, ever wear off. What do you mean it won't wear off? Unless he gets the antidote within the hour, he'll stay that size forever. And maybe grow even more. <gasps> Is there an antidote? My dear, a good wizard has an antidote for any potion he makes. <laughs> Hold that thought, I'll whip one up. <gasps> King Kami's armor! I got it. Speaking of which, um, I have a question. I'll... I'll ask later. Giant. Even if you can't play Angry Knights because of your humongous fingers? And what about your dad? Do you really want to spend the rest of your life peeling him off the bottom of your shoe? Good job, Jim. We've got him right where we want him. Sorry, Cat. The kingdom kind of needs Big J right now. Didn't work. Okay, Cyclops, let's do this. Uh, yes, it worked. Uh oh, I'm about to give you one big stub toe, maybe. <laughs> okay, time for me to step in, Jimmy. Hang on, give me your helmet. Find it because I hid it behind this tree. Oh, did I just say that out loud? So, time for me to step in now? Bottoms up. <laughs> I hate to do this, but it's for the good of the kingdom. 
J-Town? Fine, I guess. I will miss being big, though. But for a few minutes, I got to feel like the biggest squire in the kingdom. You defeated the Cyclops when you were your normal size. As I always say, it's not the size of the knight in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the night that makes it right. Thanks, Dad. Using your head as a target to distract the scream bats. <laughs> How am I supposed to be a great knight when my armor is junk? Jimbo, Jimbo. Even the most awesome armor is only as good as the knight who's wearing it. One time, I fought a troll in only my underwear. Ah, the most awesome armor. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> no sweat! Calvin headbutt! <laughs> Victory! Hey, do you guys mind if I run home on my own? I, I uh, want to work on my um, nightly distance training. Staying in shape, huh? That's my son. <laughs> Get ready to eat my dust. Uh, this is solo distance training. But I thought... Catch you back at my house. <laughs> hey, buddy. I need a favor. Okay, I raided my dad's treasure pile, but I only brought stuff I thought he wouldn't miss, so a lot of it is junk. I'm sure it's not that bad. <laughs> broken junk, broken junk. Ooh. Wait a minute. What is this? Well, I don't know. It was all covered in cobwebs and locked inside this dusty box that said, Danger! Do not take! But I figured it's probably okay to take it. Perfect fit. Good idea. Let's test this thing out. <laughs> Wait, what just happened? Greatness just happened! This helmet's gonna help me become the best knight in the kingdom! Weird. Normally I would never just attack you. But you did today. Because you're a good friend! Why? Um... When you're patrolling the woods, you have to know if bad guys are near. I'm gonna show you how to make bad guy alarms. Hey, is this a good time to put on our helmets? Um, it doesn't really have anything to do with my bad guy alarms. Why? Whoa, nice. I didn't know they sold things like that at the castle helmet shop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do, because um, th that's where I bought this in the castle helmet shop with my allowance. Well, helmet or no. If you use these traps, you will know where the... <laughs> See? <laughs> the bells work. I just had the funniest feeling. Like if I came here, I'd have a chance to fight a knight. And look, a knight to fight. I think you mean awesome knight. Actually, I think you mean <gasps> frog. <gasps> Head deflect. Oh, rats. This is going to take forever to sort out. Oh, yeah. Who's a knight? It's Jimmy. Oh, actually... Whoa, whoa, hold up. It's a J to the I to the M to the M to the Y. Okay, I'm done now. Whoa, 
That witch got way too close. We need to set more traps so no one else sneaks up on us. Um, new lesson, I think. It's called Run Away! <laughs> Cyclops? Yeah, I think you got that helmet on a little too tight. It's squeezing your big brain. Oh no, the scream back! The scream back! Look, when the helmet is on, it attracts trouble. Did you really buy this at the castle helmet shop? Of course I... I mean, well, all right, fine. I just found it, okay? Oh, really? Where did you just find a troublemaking magic helmet? It was in a dragon's treasure hoard. <clears throat> a dragon's treasure hoard? But that doesn't mean it's bad. Give me that helmet! I should have had head protection. <laughs> Taken out by a tree. <laughs> totally embarrassing. I'll say. What? Who'll say? Me, young Jimmy. Whoa, the magic helmet talks. You noticed. Come over here. Put me on. <laughs> Sorry, helmet. You're awesome. But you're trouble. Every time I put you on, we get attacked. That's how you get good. Practice. But you've practiced enough. Now it's time we take on something big. Big like Bad Jack. Did already fight a little dragon. <laughs> a big one can't be that much worse, right? Yes, let's be awesome. Hold it! Put the helmet down! What's she doing here? She doesn't even live here. Yeah, get out of my house, intruder. Intruder? Jimmy, that helmet is warping your brain. Don't trust it. I'd say it's the girl you can't trust, right, Jimmy? Right, helmet. Jimmy. Or Cat, one of you. 
Headbutt. <laughs> yeah, no. I think it's time we put you where you belong. Hey, Fat Jack! Wait, what are you doing? I have something that belongs to you! Hey, you stole this from me! Why did you just give the dragon a magic helmet? You'll see. I can so use some dragon scales to make a new pal group. <gasps> okay, there's a lot of you right now. This is why I never take your stupid helmet out. <laughs> but you know, it's true that your original helmet was too loose, so I made a few changes. Wow! I feel like I could take on every baddie in the kingdom in this! Eventually, I mean, you know, when I become a great knight, not in that crazy way. Hello, <laughs> fine travelers. Might I tell you about an exquisite piece of armor you could buy from me? A set of enchanted boots that make the wearer invisible. Wow! Think of what great knights we'd be with invisible boots. Torpedo, get us out of here! My knights and me.